everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So last episode, I took suggestions for armies to go against each other. So viewer versus viewer competition. I thought it'd be a lot of fun, and I wanted to try it out, so we're going to start it off right away. I've got Michael Wright on this side. It says, budget of 10,000. Challenge accepted. My legion or army with one M16, two energy swordsmen. We have four projectile shields. And then there are two or 52 footmen up front with uh, 10 energy swords behind there. Pretty, pretty strong uh, army there, if you ask me. But on the opposing side, <laughs> the reason it's panning because I have to go to my second monitor. Uh, it says, Defeat my army, Blitz fans, or die trying by J Kid. One, two, three, four. It says, Eight beamers in the back will shatter you. Those guys are hiding behind the trees back here. Uh, then we have one projectile shield up front, uh, two box cannons on the sides. Oh, there should be four Tesla dudes. Whoopsies. I always mess this up a little bit. Four, test the dudes, and we'll have to delete some of the headbutters. Headbutters are just thrown in because they are going to be the rest, and then we have five normal energy swordsmen up front. So, um, my bet, just straight up front, who do you think is going to win? First off, keep that in mind. And then who, or I think, I personally think that, uh, J Kid is gonna win this. The red side is gonna go for the champion because these beamers in the back are kind of nasty. So let's try it out. Let's see. Oh, there goes the Teslas right away. Oh, the Teslas are getting hit. What? Wait, hold on. What is? What's um? Oh, okay. There's the first beamer shot. Looks like some of the beamers. Oh, some of the headbutters are jumping around. And there's some really, really, really well placed box cannons for the win. Oh my word! Look at this mess. Oh, we still have the energy swordsman though. Still have the energy swords mid up. There's a box cannon coming in. Oh, and there is the red victory. Yeah, those beamers are nasty. I bet this would work even without the beamers because those box cannons, the way the box cannons came through, dominated. Those box cannons are pretty overpowered. Especially if you can get a good placement like that one. Look at that. So that one took out nothing in the back, but this one here is going to take out half of the half the other guys. Whoa, look at that. And now all the other guys are, all the red team is just grouped up here. Oh, some of them still lived. And, oh, we still have the projectile towers, but I think the headbutters are about ready to dominate. We have one more Jedi slicing and dicing. Hello. Oh, there goes another box. Oh, that box decided to take out the red side. That's what I like about them is they're, they're totally unpredictable. Like, you have no idea who they're going to attack. You're just going to make a box. So we've got uh, this one. Oh. We've got one more... Oh, he's dead now. I was going to say one more Jedi, but he died. So that's a pretty strong army over here. Let's find another one to do. All right, we've got another one here. This is by Pep707. It says, here is my army. Two lines of headbutters in the front for 30 total, followed by 15 barbarians. And then the rest is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. A chicken man man in the back and a projectile shield here, followed with the rest of them being farmers in a nice box fashion. Oh, that's about the best box I can make in the game. Wow. So that's a really, really good puddle of army. I like that one. I like that one a lot. So, uh, Mini Man Gaming says, I challenge you with three beamers in the back. So I spread those out. One, two, and three in the back. <laughs> this could be very interesting. Uh, and then we have two dual lightsabers on the side. So there's one there, and there's one there. Two box cannons, and then uh, two barrel rollers in front. Um, and then he also says, with the ninja, with the ninja master. So I don't I don't really understand where the ninja master comes in. So we're just going to put him right there as well. I don't think he'll do too much. I think these guys are going are gonna to be quite messy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. So <laughs> let's try it uh, again. Who do you think's gonna win? My money is, again is on the red team because it's the box cannons, and we got a, a box here. So let's try it out. Oh, it is kind of a leggy one. I like how this looks. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool looking? I love it. Oh, that guy rides on top. I didn't recognize that before. We have the. Oh, here we go. Boom! And there's the first of the fire. That guy's gonna make it out alive, isn't he? Oh, we got a box coming in right in the middle of our army. Oh, I know, right in the middle of the blue team. Here it comes. Oh, boom. Oh, there goes the projectile shield. Up. Oh, watch this. Watch this neon boxer just dominate. He's gonna, he's gonna dominate. Maybe. He's not really hitting anything, though. Okay, wow. Look at some of the guys made it out alive. And these guys are on fire. How'd the headbutters get on fire? Oh, no. The box cannon on this side. Right on top of him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom, boom. Oh, here's another one. Kapow! Dead. Oh, they didn't make it. 
They didn't make it. Look at the Ninja Master standing on top of the, the rock, throwing, throwing shirkins like a boss. The pitchforks are after him, though. Oh, look at this. He's going to get overwhelmed. Oh, we got the lightsaber guy going crazy over there, too. Man, he is dominating right now. Oh, threw one behind the back. It looks like all the beamers are out. We have a couple lightsaber dudes. Are they, can they do it? Can they win? Oh, the chicken man man is coming in. Chicken man man. Oh, it looks like everything besides the chicken man and that farmer is dead. Oh, boy. So let's see how this goes. Can the chicken man kill... Can the chickens kill the lightsaber guys? Oh, they did it! Blue victory! That was not... I did not expect that at all. Well, it was a little bit uh, short on the money. And he didn't say to fill it with anything, so I think I'm just going to fill it with peasants. So this might have been a bad idea. Now we have 430 units on the red side. I don't know. Oh, it's so laggy. So let's see it, how many the box cannons kill. I'm guessing the boxes aren't going to be able to fly all the way, or the, the cannonball. We also have the fire, and I feel like a lot of the guys are going to land on the fire. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a box right in the middle of the red army on both sides, right? Oh, the other one's... Nope, what happened over there? Oh, it is blown up. Ooh, and that's going to take out a lot of the peasants. Oh, boy, look at how leggy this is. We're still doing all right. Our projectile tower doesn't really seem to be doing anything on the blue team. Uh, the neon boxers aren't doing anything either. Oh, they lucked out. Here it comes. Here comes the... Oh, I thought that was the neon box, but it wasn't. And the chickens are being spawned in at the edge of the map, ready to go. This is a huge battle. Okay, come on, box. We need a, another box. Oh yeah, if I let go of the fast or the slow mode, it does not work at all. Okay, there's another box coming in. Oh, it hit another red guy right in the back. That's gonna that's gonna be very devastating to the red team. Here it comes. There it comes. Whoa! Look at everything fly up into the sky. Whee! What a mess! What a giant mess! Oh, now he's fighting. Now he's fighting. Something's. What's going on over here? I have no clue. It looks like the other box cannon is destroyed. Oh boy. So we still have a few guys alive. Where are the where are the Jedi's? There's one right there. The Sith. Slice and dice. And the chickens are now starting to come in at full force. We have the chicken army is advancing. This is a pretty I don't know. I don't know what to expect on this. Oh, and there's beamers. I forgot about the beamers. I totally forgot about the beamers. The beamers in the back are doing the work. They're clearing through a lot of the, the red team, too. They've surrounded two farmers. About time you came to the wrong side of the tracks, my friends. They took them out. And now they're marching on the chicken man. So I feel like the beamers now is the time to have a lot of team kills. Oh, everyone's advancing on the, the chicken man. Oh, look at these. Look at the chickens. Look at the chickens come in. What are they going to do? I feel like the beamers are really going to be nasty right now to the red team. Oh boy. Okay, the chickens are coming in. Come on chickens, you can do it. Oh, they're taking them out one at a time. Look at that guy in the front. He just went all Gumby on us. Here we go. It's a tsunami of chickens ready to ride the wave. Oh boy. I don't know what to think. I feel like it's super close right now with the one chicken man man because there's so many chickens down and yeah, I can't, I can't let go of the slow mode yet. Still too many people. Now it looks like all of the little chicken men are starting to leave. But this is going to be interesting once these two guys with the lightsabers come in here on the chicken man. This will be very interesting. Oh, they j he just cut down two of them. Oh, got hit by a chicken right in the face, right in the belly. That's not quite the face. Oh, he got stepped on. Step on. Oh, nice. Oh, now he's getting hit up. Just got beamed. And the chicken man man is going down. Chicken man man is going down. But look at all of the other guys. They're pretty much dead. Everything's pretty much gone, except these two Jedis. The two lightsaber dudes. Energy sword masters, whatever their official word is. And they are totally killing it. Red victory! There it is! I took it, took care of it with like a thousand, a thousand peasants. Alright, the next one, I think this one's pretty lopsided. Uh, it says, Beat My Army by East Indian Training Company. Five cannons, 15 muskets, three barrel rollers, two energy sword masters, and a ballista. That's on this side, and it says you have 3,500 money. So Tom Tom on this side says, all right, we can do that with three gravity dudes in the front, five beamers in the back, four box guns in the middle, four energy swords and a wedge in the middle, and then five energy sword masters in the back of the wedge with six peasants in the front. 
for uh, 12,640. So like four times more than what was suggested, but we'll try it. I, I just want to see how it goes. And then there's another one here. Jackson also gives another one that's pretty close. Whoa, okay, stop that. <laughs> oh, wow. So, oh, there's the box cannon destroying the side. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That's why I figured the blue team was going to win this, especially since I did it on a small map. Because the musket should help out a little bit. Maybe. Oh, there's the beamer. The beamer. So that's going to be where the real question is. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so there's a big a big problem on this side. This side, this this level is not very good for uh, ranged units. Oh, that guy just got wrecked. Oh, yep. So there's the red victory. A lot of them died, though. A lot of the red team died. Okay, we'll try this one out. This was Jackson's uh, suggestion. Four, 20 pet uh, let's start over there 20 muskets in the back row then we have four cannons I did four the fourth one's up here I wanted to put them up there because I like it up there and then there's eight swordmen I hope he meant regular footmen not uh, energy swordmen I don't really know for sure but we put in the footmen there we have one energy sword master and a axeman in the front I like the axeman so let's see how this goes I think this will be a pretty good pretty fair fight depends on how this first row goes and oh the cannons the, oh that cannon is just dirty cannons are blowing up the bad guys or blowing up the barrel rollers okay so are these guys going down looks like they did go down oh they're going back up they're getting back up and over some cannonballs flying way over the side okay it looks like everyone's still alive over here now the question is will the ballista take down the bear oh that guy just got mutilated by the cannonball oh so did that guy wow right to the face cannon to the face and the bear is dead wait the bear <laughs> the bear's dead but the other guy is still alive oh now he's dead there is no chance for survival with that and that one oh did he live he lived to the cannonball right to the groin oh the the ballista oh okay let's let's zoom it out a little bit and look and watch uh oh looks like the cannons on the red time red side are pretty much done they are done so <laughs> this one shooting backwards it's still alive but it's not. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch the muskets. Oh, did you see that shot? Double hit. Yeah, I still have one musket or one cannon left. Oh, he just hit the rock. Bad. Oh, you're going to hit your buddy, aren't you? Watch this cannonball. You ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Never mind. No, don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot this guy. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot. That's not the, that's the guy you're not supposed to shoot, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh are you going to take him out? Oh, they took him down. They took him down. The muskets took... Oh, is there someone in here? No, that was just a weird shot. Dude, there's that. Energy Swordmaster, right? Oh, headshot. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. So it's now a battle of ranged units. Let's see how this goes. And how many hours this is going to take. Um, no nothing's, nothing's happening. Right now. I could just put this on a, a live stream for six hours and let it run and nothing. Oh, they're starting to move Oh, looks like one of the cannons on the red side just blew up. Nope. They're just shooting the ground Huh? Yeah, we're gonna be at this for a long time. Whoa, a guy just died The cannon just crested the hill and killed that dude up in the back corner Looks like it might work. Looks like the blue team might have a, light, a slight advantage here. Because uh, none of the cannons are left, or none of the musket men are left. But now the question is, are the blue team, is there, are they ever going to advance? If not, what's just going to happen? I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a straight up stalemate. They're hitting the rocks, they're hitting the ground, and nothing is really working. So it is time to move on. Okay, next up on the list we have Sack in the Studios versus uh, Marcus Nathan. Um, I can't pronounce the rest of your name. So anyway, we are going to do this one. Uh, it was, my army will just be a bunch of energy swords. Can you do the math? I'm on break. Yes, that is 125, because it's 80 times 125 is 10,000, right? Somewhere in there. Anyway, uh, it is 125, and I think their cost is 80. Yeah, there is. Okay, and the other side is challenge you with one Tesla. Well, I mean, we, we, could, we could do that with just a single Tesla. And, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go very good for the... Te whoa, whoa! I didn't remember that it was chain lightning, but he just gets cut down right away. So, I figured, hey, you know, for the funsies of it, let's go ahead and spam in a bunch of Teslas and then make it equal, like that. And that's roughly the good. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that chain lightning go. Oh, they chained back into themselves. Is that good or bad or ugly? I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're getting exploded. Wow. Oh, so many explosions going on. These guys really remind me of Ghostbusters. Just sucking up all the plat... What is it called? Oh, and they did it. They did it. The Ghostbusters win. What is it called in Ghostbusters? Pla no, not plasmoids. Uh, ectoplasm. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the victory. Cool. That was fun. I like I like watching these guys go zap 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 zap. I gotta watch it again. I don't think any of the lightsaber guys actually get a. Oh, there's a kill. Yeah, that guy got a kill for once. And now this what? Hold on, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are the blue guys gonna win this time? Are you kidding me? How's that? I did nothing different. You guys saw exactly what I did. How does that work? We gotta do it a third time to see who the champion of champions is. Zap zap. <laughs> I love, wow, look how far it arcs in there. Whoa, all the way through. Shoots, that's awesome. Oh, and that, man. Wow, so blue team <laughs> has dominated. That's crazy. I did see some of those stupid blocks jump in here. That, whoa, like that one. Uh, here comes again. Blue team for the victory. Huh, that's nuts. That's awesome. So the first time it was overwhelming with these guys, right? Or am I just being dense? I thought it was overwhelming victory for the the Tesla Towers. Ectos, yeah, they're killing each other. That's what's happening. All that chain lightning is, whoa, that was cool. And now they're gonna win again. No, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know, I can't tell. Huh, Cray Cray, it big Cray Cray. Zap, zap, oh, he's dead. Huh, that was fun. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of this. Uh, we have Pokemon Guy Alien. It says 50 beamers, 10 box cannons, five barrel rollers, and a horde of headbutters with three energy shields. That is about 40,000 money on the red side. And Riker Nice says do 50 shields and five M16s against that. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll try it. Uh, whoa, slow down already. Slow down. Okay, um, we already have the boxes blown up a little bit. It looks like uh, the box cannons are about ready to fire. The beamers are just going to destroy stuff here in a second, I think. I have a feeling as soon as they're ready to go. Oh, but the M16s are starting to win. We have a couple shield men jumping around on the far flank. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the box cannons and the beamers. They have dominated the line. And now I don't know what's alive yet. Just a few, just a few shield men over here. I figured that would happen as soon as it... Uh, as soon as the, the beamers decided to blow up. Wow, that was a pretty much a domination on the red side. So Ruby Roaster 41 says, do it 90 M16s and 10 Trumps versus that army. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh, a lot of guys are dying because they're getting shot by their friends. But we'll have to see. They'll have to take out the beamers and the box cannons. If they can do that, then it should be not a problem. Shouldn't be a problem, however you want to say that. Looks like the box cannons are getting ready to fire. Come on. Oh, there's the first box coming in. First box is rolled in. And there's another box. There's three more boxes. Oh, that's a perfect placement for the boxes. These are going to be on top of each other. Uh, looks like Trump's. Where are the Trump's at? Where the Trump's is? Right here? I don't see them. Maybe those guys hit the Trump's. I hear them. I don't see them, though. Okay. Oh, there's Trump's over here. All right, and uh, box cannons, you have to destroy. This would be pretty funny if the box cannons actually won this. I don't think they will, but it'd be pretty funny if they did. Oh, he's dead. Yep, there's the blue victory. Quite a few of them are left, really. Okay, so this one might be pretty fair. Uh, this is H. Phillips against the same army that we had last time. A horde of axemen, 16 beamers in midline. And then on the back, we have three watches. I put the watches in the front because they, they fire in an arc rather than putting it in the back where they probably hit their own guys. On the blue side, anyway. Uh, and then three watches and five ballistas. So we have just the Horde of Axemen. I tried making the money pretty pretty even. We have 93 versus 203, though. So we'll see what happens. There goes the Huacha. Look at him. Whoa, there they go. And are they going to destroy anything? My question here is how many of the beamers... Oh! And those guys took it really, really hard. The uh, exploded guys. Okay, here is... Here's one of the battles I was looking forward to, right here. The Axemen versus the Energy Swordmaster. We have the box cannons going strong. Uh-oh. 
Box cannons, see, box cannons are just really, really strong units, because they they have this this whole, um, I don't even know how to describe it. What is it, uh, area effect? So it can destroy a whole area. So yeah, that's a really, really, really strong army. Wow. And that's it right there. That's going to do it. So yeah, Pokemon Guy Alien, you have a you have a strong, strong army here. Oh, and that is the last of the X-Men, dead. Okie dokie, this is a really good one. Ah, uh, Dominique Natividad says, Who dares battle with me? Four ballistas! Over here, we have the ballistas. One holy Dave. The almighty Dave is back here, is the general of this army. Two ninja masters are hidden in here, along with six M16s. These guys are going to be kind of nasty. Uh, then there are 14 beamers in the back row. Beamers are going to be nasty, too. Uh, two energy sword masters, two gravity dudes up front. Four catapults and uh, five samurai masters on this side. And then Marshmallow Dream Z wishes to battle with 40 archers and uh, six catapults back in the back line. And then we have chicken men. This was interesting. Put in 10 chicken men back there and then 10 samurai masters with 10 shields and then two uh, of whatever those things are called. Horse guys. Chariots. <laughs> There's the word. Uh, so the chariots are in the front. Hopefully they're gonna they're gonna disrupt the M16s and the the beamers in the back. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna say. <sighs> I don't know. See, this is interesting because the red team almost has double the units, but the blue team has like 75% more money. So I don't know which to think. It's like more units better or more money better. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's pretty even. So let's just go with it. It depends on how these chariots do, too. Chariots? Oh, the chariot! Oh, they didn't quite make it. Okay, that's a little bit harsh. Gravity dudes kind of did nothing. Catapult balls are rolling in. Okay, the catapults have to block. They're going to take out some of the M16s? Uh, kind of. <laughs> Not particularly. Chicken men might have to hide a little bit. Oh, boy. So, let's see if these catapults... These catapults on... Oh, and the beamers just took off. Uh-oh. I think blue team's got the victory. It's because of the M16s. It's got to be the M16s and the beamers. Wow. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's the blue victory. Hmm. What can we do on the red side to make this a little more even? Probably take out the beamers. <laughs> let's just, let's take out half the beamers and we'll see how that works. Okay. Whoa. It went faster than I thought it would. Oh, <laughs> and the chariots really did nothing. I might want to bump up the number of chariots because I like watching them go. They are a little bit broken in this patch, though. Have next to no hit points. Ooh, that Jedi just took a cat catapult to the to the knees. Oh, so did that archer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Chicken men. Oh, chicken man. Chicken man got cut to pieces. Cut to pieces. Oh. And that guy just took a ballista bolt to the face. Yeah, blue victory. Blue team is really strong in this. Let's uh, up the number of... I want to see this one work. Let's up the number of chariots. Like that. And we'll see if that does anything different. Oh! Oh! There's the gravity dude flying. Yeah, this is... See, chariots are so busted in this patch. They just don't work at all. But they did make a real mess. So that's good. Left room for the these guys to come in. Look at this. The samurai master, cha 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 cha, versus the whoa, <laughs> catapult right to the face. Oh, the chicken man, the chickens have killed the Jedi. Energy sword master. Uh oh, uh oh. I think the the number of chariots. Whoa, that chariot is moving. How is that chariot moving? Was that a chicken powered chariot? It must have been. Oh, and the beamers it dominated with the beamers. Here we go. One last beamer to save the day. They didn't do it. Aha! Mission completed. So I added the beamers back in. I want to see what happens with these chariots. Because the chariots are so much fun. I love watching a big army of chariots fly through and, and dominate things. Oh, and the catapults rolling over things. Oh, and the beamers are on the hill. Here it comes. This is going to be where it, where the battle rages. In that back line right there. Oh! Chariot just fell on the left side of the screen. Okay, so the question is, can these beamers not... Oh, and some of the balls are rolling over them. If they can crest the hill, it looks like the balls roll over pretty nicely. It's like uh, ping pong or something. Uh-oh. Looks like all of the archers are dead. We just have one to two. Just one catapult left. Oh, here comes. Here comes a flying chariot. 
Nope, he's dead. Huh, so it's the beamers that turn the tide of battle. Alrighty, so next up is our final battle for the day is Fenny versus Queen. Now, Fenny's team is the red team, and there is a lot of money on there. About ten times more money than on the blue side. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do anyway. Uh, so, Fenny says, my team is three chicken men men, six super peasants, three dark peasants, twenty footmen, ten box guns, seven energy shields, Three ninja master or five ninja masters, two trumps, two Hillarys, three chicken men, one chariot, and five peasants along the back. Yep, that's a that's a huge battle. And then on this side is Queen says my peasants are sixty peasants. My dragon is the bear guy who is right right here. There's the dragon. Uh, let's see what else. La, la, la. My deputies are four energy masters, forty footmen who are the warriors, a riptide summoner who's a chicken man, a land enabler. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Shadow forces are five pyramid plagues, and then back up 80 footmen. Uh, the Reaper of Tides is a gravity dude, and then 20 thieves is dark assassins. I'm assuming that is um, uh, Clash of Clans or God of War or something like that. I'm not positive on that. Uh, anyway, uh, we need to summon the we need to summon the plague. So let's put a chicken man on the blue side down here. And okay, the plague is being summoned. Let's start it up, and we're gonna see how how nasty this battle is. Oh, there comes the plague! Yes, the plague has been summoned. Oh, the gravity dude! Can the gravity dude pull in the plague? Whoa, there's more plague coming in. Oh, look at that mess! Oh, the chicken men, everything. It's the plague of locust. I like that screen. Look at that. The plague's coming in. I hear I hear energy shields going to town. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, there it is. It's fuming up the plague in the bottom. That guy was on the shoulder of the chicken man, man. And now, how is how is it looking over here? I think the blue team is pretty much Dunzo, aren't they? Dunzo Alamoto. Does that even... This probably doesn't even make sense. But the question is... Is he still alive in here? Is he st he's dead. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Okay. Um, man, I could have put, like, triple or quadruple amount of, of beamers on one side. Oh, man! Things are dying. Who's alive on the blue side yet? Oh, there's a couple, a couple in ninja masters or energy sword masters in there. Looks like there's a. Oh, that's a box. Oh, is he gonna catch it? Oh man, the box cannons are gonna catch the super peasants. Get wrecked, red victory. That was pretty close. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Oh, that is so much fun. I love this thing up here. Uh, let's put some beamers in on this side. It might be pretty, pretty even. Like that many beamers. I'll try it. Okay, here we go. One last attempt. Oh, it's so leggy with that uh, the thing coming out of the sky. Whew. Man, those beamers really did it. Oh, look! The chariot's still alive. Sort of. He's dead now. No longer alive. No longer living. There comes the, the plague of locust. I don't see how you guys call that locust. I mean, there's no bugs in it. Some people do, anyway. Man, the, the box cannons have destroyed the playing field, haven't they? Oh, I'm just going to take out the chicken man man. There it goes! Got knocked in the leg. You need to fly over here and take this one on too, big guy? Nope. So the Dark Peasant, oh, he's down! Rest in pepperonis. Oh, he's gonna get thrown off the map? Looks like they just threw a uh, Chicken Man off the map, or a uh, Super Peasant off the map. And it looks like the Beamers didn't do nearly as much as I thought they were gonna do. The Dark Peasants have won again. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this battle. If you did, please do let me know. Whoa! We got an earthquake happening! Earthquake! So keep your stick on the ice. We will catch you next time.